Well, I was over here in projects and I saw these cool looking arrows right here. And if you take a look at this, I think this would be a good time to practice how to make something like this. So here we are, we're back in easel. And if we're going to try to make a nice arrow, you have two ways of doing it. You can import a picture like we were doing down here with the import image trace. And then you find the simplest arrow that you want and just import it. Or wouldn't be that difficult just to make your own kind of arrow. That's what I'll do right here and show you because there's a couple of tricks you can use along the way to make a simple arrow here. So it's got the pointy top. It has the middle part. We'll make that narrower. And then we're going to need some sort of bottom piece. Maybe we'll use the bottom part of the star. I double click it, and if I click on this point, I can delete. I click on this point and delete. And maybe that's the arrow we want to go with. Okay, but may it's not all, it's not lined up perfectly. You can see that it's kind of askew. There's a tool to help with that. If I highlight all the pieces that I want, this pops up. These are the align tools. This will align them all to the left. So now the furthermost point on the left here and the furthest most point on the left here and here, they're all lined up. Same on the right. What we want is the center. So now those are all lined up dead center. You could also line them up bottom, middle, top. Oh, I just made a mistake. So I'm going to go to edit, undo, undo, undo. So there's our arrow. And because we, we want to keep the arrow, we're not going to cut the path. We're going to cut an outline. So I haven't showed you this yet. We are, we are going to be cutting an outline. If I click cut on the shape path, path, now I've got these three arrow bits here. Well, that's no good. It's going to cut out this weird shape plus a little block plus this and this and this. What we want to do is get these all merged together. It's easy to do. If I highlight these three pieces and go to edit, I can go to the combine function and now that I've combined them it is one piece. Same with making a snowman for example. Here is the snowman very quickly. If I try to make an outline so that I can keep this snowman I should align them quick. Highlight them, then use the center align. Now they're all centered. But if I try to cut it out so I can keep it, I'm, I'm going to have cut apart circles. What I'm going to do is go to edit and combine, and now I've got a snowman shape. Back to our arrow. arrow. This arrow, if we want the arrow to fit inside of a piece of wood, what we have to think about is the, the size of the arrow when it's done being cut. And so that's why there are three options here. We have cut on shape path, we've got cut outside of shape path, and we've got cut inside of shape path. And if you were watching, you can see that it's changing size as we go along. What's happening is this. We have a <coughs> arrow that is being, we have a path here, and that drill bit is going to cut either on the shape path, and it's going, that drill bit is going to be cutting out everything on that path, which means part of the drill bit is going to be cutting smaller, and part of the drill bit is going to be cutting outside of the shape path. And so what you'll end up with if you do it on the shape path is it will be a little bit smaller than you, you designed it to be. And the hole will be a little bit bigger than you designed it to be. So that's on path. Well, if you choose outside, now here's a circle. If I choose the outside, now the drill bit is going to be cutting outside of that circle. So the circle is going to be exactly the size that I set it to be. 
but the hole that it leaves, the hole in the board, is going to be larger. But the circle on the inside is going to be the exact size that I said it to be. It, the opposite is true if I cut on the inside of the shape path. Now if I have a circle here, now it's cutting inside of that path that we have and it is going to leave a smaller circle than what you designed but the circle itself the hole that is left will be the exact size that you want it to be so inside will leave the hole the correct size outside will leave the the uh, the, the the piece on the inside the exact size and on path kind of splits the difference so if we go back here if I want to make an arrow that's going to fit inside of a board what I'm going to need to do is cut the arrow out on the outside shape path and so you can see now it's cutting outside of that arrow shape I'm going to copy the arrow and pull up the menu here so now I've added a second page here's page one if I go to page two and paste it in now I can cut a hole by selecting inside this hole is going to be the exact same shape as this arrow so if I cut this out if I cut this arrow out it will fit inside of this hole exactly that's by using the inside and outside the shape path options right here so in this video we talked about using the align tools so if I have a few things that I want to get lined up perfectly you need to highlight them and use the align tools in this video we use the combine function so now that these are one shape because we went to edit and combine and in this video we talked about using the inside shape path in this case because we want it, the hole to be an exact size and then we use the outside shape path in this case because we want the inner left behind piece to be a, an exact size.